Welcome back to my channel folks. As part of the serverless series, today we are going to see what is AWS Lambda. When somebody says AWS Lambda, it is a serverless compute service that runs your code in response to the events that you are generating or your application is generating. And it does all this without provisioning or managing any servers. As an user consuming a Lambda function, you don't have to go and set up an EC2 instance or any type of compute environment to run your code. All you have to do is go to Lambda and say that I want 28 MB of RAM or about a 3 GB of RAM, whichever size in between and the appropriate amount of virtual CPUs will be allocated to you. And you choose the size based on your application requirements. And you also have the flexibility of choosing how much time you want to run this code. You want to run it for one second or three seconds or 10 seconds. You have the complete flexibility to do that. And remember the code that you run in an Amazon Lambda is called a Lambda function and Lambda functions are quite unique because they are going to do only one task and they should be designed in such a way that it is not dependent on the underlying hardware for any persistence because if you're executing the code multiple times, it is possible that each time the code is running on different environments. So you might not be able to have the same temporary storages that you might be using in the previous time. So a typical example is let us say you want to resize the images uploaded to an S3 bucket and make it consumable in a mobile application, then a Lambda function would be ideal for you because you don't know how many users are going to upload objects and you want to trigger as many of them whenever there's an upload is happening. And when you're talking about triggers, Lambda can be triggered in multiple ways. One of them is buying an S3 upload or you can have an API gateway through which you can receive HTTP endpoint triggers to your Lambda function. Or it can be something as simple as having an EC2 changing its state from being a stopped state to going to terminated state. Then you trigger your Lambda function and do some processing of backing up or moving the logs from the EC2 server to your S3 buckets. So you can have multiple triggers and keep in mind that Amazon is constantly adding new triggers so that it makes it easy to integrate with other services. In the next video, we are going to see why we need Lambda service, what it makes it so special. So see you then. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.